Introducing the iConnectivity iConnect Audio 4 Plus audio and MIDI interface that integrates iOS devices with today's professional multiple computer setups and traditional MIDI hardware. Here the iConnect Audio 4 Plus is shown fully integrated with a typical studio setup that includes a microphone, a guitar, a stereo synthesizer which is also DIN MIDI connected to the iConnect Audio 4 Plus, a USB MIDI keyboard, a USB MIDI drum controller, an iPad, studio monitors, a second set of monitors for checking a separate mix, headphones, and a door running on a MacBook. The iConnect Audio 4 Plus also operates with a Windows PC using the custom developed USB Windows Audio driver and presents as a fully independent audio and MIDI device to a Windows door. In one box, the iConnect Audio 4 Plus seamlessly integrates MIDI controllers and analog audio equipment with your iOS audio applications and your computer hosted door. The iConnect Audio 4 Plus is designed out of the box to get you up and running as quickly as possible by connecting your iPad, your computer device and your analog hardware together and to be able to record into your door. iConnectivity's audio pass-through feature also allows you to route audio bidirectionally between iPads and computer devices. MIDI information can also be flexibly routed between the various connected computer devices, DIN connected MIDI devices and up to eight USB connected devices via a USB powered hub. The iConnect Audio 4 Plus also features a flexible and configurable patch bay and mixer that you can use to change the mixes and to set different mixes for your line outs and your headphones. You can also use the patch bay to route the audio among the various connected devices. The iConnect Audio 4 Plus will also charge a connected iPad. On the front of the iConnect Audio 4 Plus there are four XLR quarter inch combo analog inputs each with an individual 48 volt phantom power toggle. Two are unbalanced mic and instrument inputs and two are balanced mic and line inputs. Using the touch panel you have control of all input and output levels and the ability to toggle the 48 volt phantom power for each of the microphone inputs. You can choose which of the audio outputs and analog inputs you are adjusting as well as being able to alter the headphone level. And the LED display indicates either the trim value or the metering depending on whether the red or green LED selector is lit for a given input or output or for a combination of inputs and outputs. We'll see more about how to use the touch panel later. Using the rotary control knob you can set and change levels and with a double push mute the outputs. On the back of the iConnect Audio 4 Plus you will find the jack for the power supply, the USB host port for connecting USB MIDI class compliant controllers via a powered hub, two USB device ports each of which supports either a computer or an iOS device and port 1 will charge an iOS device. Port 2 may keep an iOS device charged depending upon the type of device. There are two 5-pin MIDI jacks providing DIN MIDI in and out connectivity and four quarter inch TRS balanced out audio outputs. Typically, you would connect a set of monitors to them in pairs. There is also a stereo headphone jack. To secure your equipment, there is also a port on the side for a locking cable. Here, I am showing the iConnect Audio 4 Plus fully connected. On the front of the device, I have attached a microphone, a guitar, and a stereo synthesizer. On the back, I have connected the power supply, the USB hub, a computer on device port 1, an iPad on device port 2, the cables for both of which are provided as part of your iConnect Audio 4 Plus package, DIN MIDI to and from the stereo synthesizer, a pair of studio monitors on outputs 1 and 2, a second pair of studio monitors on outputs 3 and 4, and a set of headphones. 
The USB hub is connected to an X-key USB class-compliant MIDI keyboard and a class-compliant electronic drum controller that you saw earlier and attached to the USB host port on the iConnect Audio 4 Plus. On the display I currently have the outputs for the first set of studio monitors selected. The green LED indicates metering mode. By touching the button so that it turns red, you can select the mode to change the levels and the LEDs now indicate the gain for the appropriate port, whether input or output, which can be adjusted with the rotary control knob, as you see. Pressing the button again returns to metering mode. To change a different setting, simply touch the desired button, in this case for the inputs, and again you can set the levels by touching the button again so that it turns red. In metering mode, when you supply input, the LEDs act like a VU meter showing you the signal level. In the iConfig application, which we will look at in detail in another video, you will see changes made by the rotary control knob reflected in the fader positions on the display. You can also set the levels using a mouse and or return to controlling the levels with the control knob. Here I'm first of all using the mouse and then the control knob. There are three main sections to the mixer, the analog input section, the analog output section, and the mixing bus area. There are three separate mixing tabs for analog outputs 1 and 2 and 3 and 4, as well as the headphones. You can choose which inputs are being routed to the mix from the drop-down menus and use that to create mixes from multiple sources including computer audio, iPad audio and analog audio. You can also pan the various mixes and channels, mute and solo them, and also link or unlink them. The audio patch bay gives an overview of the audio routing from audio sources to destinations, as well as the ability to alter the routing by clicking on the matrix and making different connections. Again, we will cover the patch bay in more detail in another video. The display includes both the direct routes you set here in the patch bay as well as those you set in the mixer. You can route audio from the two USB device ports as well as from the analog inputs to multiple destinations, including routing the audio to the analog mixer. The analog mixer can itself be routed to the analog outputs. Be sure to watch the other videos in this series for more information on installing the iConfig application and using the iConnect Audio 4 Plus with your door and iPad and for a more detailed look at the patch bay, the mixer and the MIDI configuration in iConfig. Mm -hmm.